Today is June 19th, 2022. It is Sunday. Um, today is day 132 of Blender, and today I'm going to try to replicate this glass vase. So I'll start with the cube, right, as always, and I'm not deleting it. I'm just going to do Control 2 to make it into a um, sphere. So Control 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier, and then wait because my computer is really slow these days, so it freezes out of nowhere. Um, another way you could do that is by going to the modifier properties down here, the wrench little icon, go to add modifier, go to the generate column, scroll down, and then select subdivision surface. It's the same thing. Um, control 2 is just a shortcut for it. Basically what it does, it smooths out the curves. Um, so it makes sense that in a cube, right, it would smooth out the curves of the cube so that it becomes a UV sphere. Okay, that's just what happened. Anyway, I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing on tab, or you can go into edit mode by going to the top left over here and then pressing edit mode. I'm going to go to face select by pressing top left um, icon over here, selecting the top face, pressing G to grab, and then Z to grab, um, Z to grab on the Z axis, which is the blue axis. Bring that up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to do a loop cut, but at first I'm going to press the button under the escape key and then hover over the front view, and then do control R to do a loop cut, hover over an edge, press, and then go all the way up, control R, loop cut, hover over an edge, press, and then go all the way down. And then um, what I'm going to do is I might just select everything by pressing A and then scaling it by pressing S and scaling it on the X axis. So that it looks something like this. And then if I do that, notice that it's not scaled proportionally on the Y axis. So what I'll do is, um, I should have done that in layout mode. Let me do control Z. Okay, go into object mode and then scaling on the X axis. Right, so it looks how I wanted, and then go here, copy the scale on the x-axis, and just paste it on the y, and it should work as wanted. And then go back to front view by pressing the button under the escape key and hovering over front. Go back to edit mode by pressing tab, um, so you can switch out of edit mode by pressing tab. So switch out to object mode and edit mode, tab, tab, tab. Anyway, into edit mode, um, I'm just going to maybe go to front view. Um, face select, select this face, and then maybe inset a little bit. And then at this point, I'll just extrude, so E to extrude, and then Z to extrude upwards. And then go to front view by pressing the button under the escape key and hovering over front. And then control R to add a loop cut, um, hover it over edge, press, and then select um, all the way up. And then maybe Alt. Let me see. All right, so control R, right? Hover over an edge and then just kind of scroll up a little bit and then maybe scale it that way. So it looks a little bit like that. And then go back to front view by pressing the button under the escape key and then selecting front. And then maybe going over here, control R, selecting here. And then, let me see, um, maybe another control R. What did I just do? Control Z, control R, select a little bit here. Maybe, okay, do Alt Z to turn on toggle. Another way you can turn, not, not toggle, X-ray. Another way you can turn on X-ray is by pressing the X-ray toggle here, top right. Um, so turn it on or do Alt Z and then select everything. Um, maybe scale it outwards like that because that's what it's looking like here it just looks really thick so maybe control Z and then maybe control Z delete all that and then just do face select select this face and then grab it down so GZ but then it's grabbing how about no nah. No. What to do, what to do. I messed up. How about I delete the face? Edge select.
Nope, 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 nope. All right, um, control Z, control Z, maybe G, and then what if I delete the face? Then it does become shorter. And I did delete the face, but then, okay, control Z. All right, so G, Z, bring it all the way down of how I want it. And then do X, delete the face. So it should be normal now. And then, um, let me see. I should probably, what did I do? Great. Um, yeah, it's not going to work. Control G, control, not control G, control Z. Okay, have that back to where it was. Um, how do I fix this? Maybe I can make it bigger. So, front view, select everything. Nope. I don't know. I ruined it. I don't know how to fix this. Maybe, um, I'm trying to think, because it looks too big so long it's so weird oh you know what it doesn't matter i'll just it's i'm just gonna go with it control r loop cut here control r loop cut here and also notice how it's very cut off here at the end something like that but i need this can i be scaled Maybe like that. And it's not doing the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to have to do Alt Z to turn on my x ray. Right, so that it selects everything now. So front view. Right, so now it selects everything. Back to front view. And then scale it. Maybe inwards like that. A little bit like that. And then this up here. Scale it outwards like that. And then maybe what I can do is I can do Alt and select this edge. What the heck? And then go back to front view and then maybe G Z. Nope, 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 nope. Actually. Nope, that looks horrible. Control Z, turn off Alt Z, Control Z. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. Shade smooth. And then I'm going to do myself a favor. I'm going to go to edit mode, face select, select this face, X, delete the faces so it's open. And then I'm going to go to, um, let me see, object um, properties, click on surface, change it to um, glass. Be what the? Okay, what's going on? Um, glass BSDF and then save this before it crashes so control s and then i'm going to save it as six is it midnight already i'm so confused have i been saying it's june 18th did i say it's june 18th oh my god did i say it was june 18th June 19th, June 19th. Okay, if I said it was June 18th in my video, in the beginning, I'm so sorry. Okay, save Blender file and then go to um, rendered preview at the top right here. It's like little like world icons. Um, and wait five hours. Okay, now um, I'm just going to wait for this again and while i wait i'm just going to go to the image and try to get that brownish color so let me use my color picker just use something like that so it's ac3d04 so just trying to go here and set the color hex to be that color there and then I'm going to do shift A to add a backdrop, press S to scale, um, like a lot. Um, do shift tab and then and to turn on snapping, shift tab turns on this little magnet here which is snapping and I'm just going to turn it to snap to face so that when I do G and Z it's going to snap to the bottom over here when I hover over. So it's like literally snapping to the bottom. 
um, GZ right here. There we go. Okay. Um, turn off snapping by pressing the magnet or doing shift tab. Now I'm going to go into edit mode, go to edge select by going to this little, um, icon over here, top left, selecting the back edge. Hold on. Let me go to front view. Okay. Yeah. Selecting the back edge, pressing E to extrude and then Z to extrude on the Z axis, which is the blue axis up and down. Right. And then we have our little backdrop, and then I'm going to go to modifiers, add modifier, go and add a bevel modifier, and that's going to add a bevel to that edge. And then just increase the amount and increase the segments. So it looks kind of like that. So that's my little backdrop. I could increase the amount like by a lot. There we go. All right, and then right click shade smooth, and then maybe I'll do S um, in object mode and scale it on the X and scale it on the Y. So S, Y, S, X, right? Um, and then I'm going to go to, I'm not even going to bother doing the table because, no. Um, and I'm just going to just select this background color here at the back. And then giving it that color. So I'm going to go to material properties, click on new. And then base color, change a hex, put it there. Alright, and then now I'm just going to select this light that I have here, change it to a sun. Change the strength to 5. Um, and then over here... Um, this should, the IQR, the roughness should be literally zero, the IQR. Why is it not looking like glass? What's going on with it? I'm going crazy right now. What's going on? Oh, because it's in, it's Eevee. I meant to have it in cycles. There we go. Beautiful. Um, so go to um, render properties and change it to cycles. Um, render engine to cycles instead of EV. Now we have our beautiful little vase. Um, only thing is we don't have the flowers because I don't know how to make those yet. I mean, I've made a leaf thingy before, but no. It's not a leaf thingy. It was like a string plant. I don't even know. Um, okay, so I'm just going to now right click over this edge here and then just join areas. Select on this one. And then I'm going to do Control Alt Numpad Zero, and I'm going to make sure because I don't have a numpad, I'm going to go to Edit Preferences and I'm going to emulate numpad. Um, so the number keys that I have on my keyboard are just to emulate the numpad. So I'll do Control Alt Zero, and that's going to set my camera to view. So make sure you have a camera, right? If you deleted your camera at the beginning of the scene, just make sure you Shift A and then add a camera, right? and then do Control Alt Numpad Zero or Control Alt Zero um, if you have your emulate numpad on. Just kind of align the camera to the view that you want to render and then go top left here render or you can just click on f12 render image and then it's going to render your image um oh my god wait did i use cpu or gpu no 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 let's close this out gpu compute device why does it keep saying cpu i don't even think i had that in the beginning um and then one more thing if i go to render properties and i go to light paths I'm going to set the um, direct lighting to 10 and the indirect lighting to 4. I literally said 4. Where did 9.97 come from? All right, is there anything else? Um, I don't think so. Okay, let's render that image and then we'll wait. Alright, so it kind of rendered, there's two hours left, but 